Hi guys, in today's video I will explain the git branches. Branches are the best thing ever happened to git. They make our uh, life quite easy. Let's go ahead and start. So let's say we are working on a project and it's a big project, even even small project the example would work. Uh, when multiple people are working on the project and when our code is live, when uh, we do not want to make some mistakes in our code. So what we actually do is let's say uh, when we want to work on a new feature and we don't want to touch the live code base uh, in old systems what we used to do was we just copy paste our whole project and then uh, start working in the new location but that is quite hectic what if our project size is size is big uh, it will take a lot of uh, space as well as where uh, the process is quite hectic git branches uh, are super light and we can just quickly make a copy of our project and then we can make uh, start working in the new branch without affecting the uh, default branch so let's go ahead and make a start so right now uh, we are in our master branch which is created by default uh, so let's assume this is our uh, production branch and we do not want to make uh, uh, any mm, mm, uh, code changes in this branch so what we will do is we will create our separate branch if we want to work on a new feature let's say um, i want to work uh, on a contact us page so what i will do is instead of uh, going ahead and making uh, creating files in our current branch i will just create a new branch so let's create a new branch the command is git check out dash p means create a new branch and then i will write my branch name so let's say i'll say contact us branch this is just for example sake so now you will see that uh, i have actually switched uh, to my uh, contact us branch uh, if i want to see how many branches are in my repository i'll just run git branch and it will also tell me uh, this asterisk shows me i am currently in contact us branch and there is another branch which is a master branch so now it is safe uh, i can safely work in this branch if if even if i make some mistake i can just go ahead and delete my branch and no issue will be uh, done to the uh, master branch so right now i'm in my branch so let's try to create a new file so i will create let's say contact.html and i'll just uh, I'll just edit it. I'll just write comment soon. Once I've written to this file, I'll just see my file is here. Uh, now let's try to add it into our Git uh, repository. So let's check Git status. So I have actually one untracked file. Let's track and uh, let's stage it. So Git add contact and then let's check the status again now we have added one file and we can commit it as well so let's uh, git commit dash m for message contact page create it once uh, my file is committed I can go back to my master branch and then merge this branch with my branch if, if I'm okay with my testing and everything uh, if I'm not okay then what happens like let's say this file was created as an error so what will happen to my master branch so let's try to go back to the master branch and see okay, check out master so the command to go to the uh, any branch is git checkout uh, we didn't add that uh, dash b here b, uh, that is for new creating new branch so master is already there so we will just write git checkout master so you will see that my contact file has gone from here so because that was committed only to our contact us branch so if i am happy with my contact us branch all i can do is i can merge my branch to my master branch so that all the changes which i have made into my contact us branch they should be merged with the master so we will just run git merge and then we will write the branch name which we want to merge so i will write the branch name and then it it actually brought my changes from the 
Now contact us branch into my master branch. And now we are ready to go live. Uh, once I'm happy with my change and I merged it as well. So if I, in future I'm not going to work on this branch anymore or I don't want to make any changes or there's no point to keeping this branch so I can just delete it as well. So we can delete it by git branch dash t and then branch name. Now I have pretty deleted this branch. So I can just check how many branches I have left. So that is only master. Uh, let's say, uh, let's say we are working on a branch and we work on some files uh, which were previously uh, when we took a, a copy of our project and when we created a new branch we worked on some file which was at later point uh, chained in the master branch what would happen then if we try to merge that branch so let's try to make it happen so before doing anything i'll just create a new branch Click check out dash b and i will create a new feature and inside this branch uh, i want to make a change to the about us page but before that since we have uh, actually created a copy of master branch so right now whatever is in the master it has come to this new feature branch uh, i'll go back to my master branch and then i will try to make change to this add uh, about file so i will edit this file So in coming soon I added one more sign of exclamation and let's see git status git add you can add dot or just add the file name new change whatever commit we want to give so now that this master branch has uh, an extra sign of exclamation and the uh, uh, new feature branch doesn't have it so let's go to new feature branch Wait, check out new script feature if i refresh see we don't have an extra sign of submission so what we will do now is we will actually uh, instead of sign up uh, exclamation i will just uh, make a change here and i will add something else plus so we have actually worked on the same line. Let's see what happens then. Git status and let's add this file. Let's commit it. And I will go back to my master branch and I will try to merge this branch and let's see what happens. Right now I'm in the master branch, so let's try to merge the new feature branch. Oops, so we have a conflict here because on the same line, uh, master made a change, and in the same time, a new feature branch made a change as well. So we got a conflict. So we need to make sure whatever conflicts we got, we need to resolve them before pushing them to the live environment. To the remote server so we need to make sure that there are no conflicts so let's go ahead and edit this file and see where we have the conflicts so it is telling us that uh, head tells us in the we are in the current branch in the master branch uh, in master branch we made this change to this line and we added this sign of exclamation but in the new feature branch we added a plus here git is not able to tell the difference like it's not able to decide which one is correct so it is left to us to decide so let's say like the new feature guy thinks okay no this plus doesn't make sense so we don't want this once all these changes are done we need to remove these and we need to actually delete this as well once this is done let's save it and then we can just uh, check the git status so now we need to we have modified this file let's try to add it git add about git commit 
resolve conflict with new feature branch there we go so now we have actually got our new change uh, we tried to first get this new change but then we had a conflict so we resolved the conflict as well now now our master is uh, up to the latest with all these uh, changes i hope uh, this clears the concept of branching so basically it's just like a creating a copy a copy of our branch and working on that change and once we're done with our change we can merge it back to our main branch uh, this is quite useful uh, uh, feature and it, it, it does not require us to wait for a long time to just copy paste and do our stuff uh, i will try to explain uh, our, our git flow as well which which is quite uh, useful so uh, uh, in my coming videos i'll try to explain that concept as well thank you for watching bye